It was a rousing welcome for Khalil as the injured teen from Gaza was warmly received by a crowd of cheering supporters and members of the local Palestinian community. We have some very close family members from Palestine as well, and we just want to show support and welcome the family coming in today. The 13-year-old, along with his mother and sister, arrived in Chicago at the airport this afternoon for medical treatment. We are very glad uh, we are here in Chicago and uh, so many people love Khalil. It's all a part of the effort by the group Heal Palestine, an organization looking to do just that. If we can do something to heal one child, 10 child, children, 100 children, that gives the whole community a sense of hope. And Khalil lost both legs in a bombing in Gaza in April. Those here say while Israel's offensives have been aimed at taking out Hamas fighters, scores of women and children have been killed in the attacks. One day, like he was okay playing in the in the yard, and one day, the second day, he lost his legs. Yeah. He cannot walk. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. really tough, you know. Another team from Gaza, who also came to the United States for treatment several months ago, was also here to greet the family. Leanne is walking again and says, through a translator, she hopes to be an inspiration to her new friend. She feels very confident, especially that Khalid is coming from the same village that she's from, so she knows that he's going to do good. The international terminal was packed with well wishers. Some even brought gifts and tokens of friendship for the newly arrived boy and his family. We consider them these are the guests of God, not our guests. They're the guests of God, and this is the least we could do in them just for the sake of God, really. Khalil is the third child from Gaza. The organization is brought here for medical treatment. Khalil and his family will stay with a host family. It's unclear how long he'll be here, but it could be up to a year. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.